Hello, it's Tim Spector here of the Zoe COVID Symptom Study app, giving you the weekly update. This week, it's mostly, but not entirely, good news. The good news is that for the sixth consecutive week, we've seen a drop in the number of new cases compared to the week before. This means that we're now down to around 220,000 symptomatic cases in the country, uh, which is moving in the right direction. And we have approximately uh, 12,000 new cases a day. Down from this peak, which was about 70,000, if you remember. Now, the only dampener on this is that the last few days, we've definitely seen a plateauing of the rate of decrease. So we had an R value of 0.8 or uh, less in many regions. Now we're overall back to 0.9. And some areas of the country, it does seem to have flattened out. And this appears to be mainly true in Scotland, Wales, North of England and the Midlands. Good news is that London and the East, which had lots of cases, uh, rates are still coming down. We don't know the reason for this. We just need to keep a, a close eye on it. But remember, you guys are our canaries and giving us that early warning signs of any changes in these rates. The NHS uh, levels, which is the other factor that the government look at in terms of reopening, are doing well. Admissions are still down and the hospitals are less full of COVID patients than they were with around 10 to 24 uh, percent capacity full of COVID way down from the peak a month ago. The age distribution of these cases is showing us that most of the infections now in the 20 to 40 year olds. It's pretty rare in the over 80s and that rate is reassuringly going down, which is good news for severe COVID. As we try and get these rates low enough so we can open up, hopefully, the beginning of March, really important we pick up all the infections. This week we published a paper with my colleagues uh, from King's that made it quite clear that a third of people who test positive for COVID don't have the three classic symptoms that are recognised by the NHS and currently the only way you can get a test. So we saw that fatigue, headache, sore throat and diarrhea were really common in the first three days when people are really infectious. So we want to try and persuade uh, the government to relax these criteria and add more of these, which would pick up many more cases than we currently are at the moment and drive our numbers down faster. Until then, the only way is to get a test via the Zoe app for you or your friends. So do spread the word. And remember, if you are feeling unwell all of a sudden and that feels unusual, whatever the symptom, you can get a test through logging your symptoms on the app. And that's with or without having a vaccine. So stay safe, keep logging and thanks for your continued support.